Hi everybody, welcome. It's Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with you tonight for your weekly angel message. Please let me know you're here. Give me a heart, like and share the stream. I'd be really grateful. Um, and let me know where you live, what country you're from. That would be really lovely. So I'll wait for a few people to jump on the call and see if I can see comments that would be helpful. I'm going to be giving away an angel scope at the end of the call, so don't go anywhere. Please like and share the stream so that you can be in the running for that. Appreciate that. Thanks, Joe, for all the hearts. That's lovely. Hi, Lisa. Somebody write something in the comments for me so I can see if we can, uh, if we've got, uh, Joe said hello. So hello to you too, Joe. And hi, Mel. See you tomorrow. Um, and hi, Mary. Lovely to have you here, girls. Maybe some guys here as well um, who are sitting quietly. Hi, Tanya, Lisa. And uh, lovely to have you here. So we're going to do the angel reading. I'll get that going now. Giving away an angel scope. So hi, Sarah. Please don't um, forget to stay till the end. Like and share the stream. Give me some hearts. Tell me what country you're from. And also put in the word manifest into the comments. That will trigger our angel bot, Gabby, to send you an extra card in our messenger automation. Follow the instructions when you get into messenger. That will give you an extra card for tonight. Hi, um, Kate and Lucinda, how are you? Lovely to have you here. So let's call in our beautiful angels for a weekly reading for this week, the 3rd of June through to the 9th of June, 2019. And for a start, of course, we're going to start with the Angel Feather Oracle, my beautiful Oracle, 44 colored feathers uh, with angel messages available on my website, Michelle New 10. Dot com. So let's call in our angels. There we go. Cards of clumped. We're going to choose five cards for the general reading. Okay, very nice. Then on top of that, my second oracle, as you know, is Archangel Michael's Sword and Shield Oracle. If you love working with Archangel Michael, get that. It'll be fantastic. You will love it. And the two oracle card decks work very beautifully together. This one a feminine energy, this one male. So now we're calling in Archangel Michael asking for more guidance on this general reading for the week ahead, the 3rd of June through to the 9th of June 2019. There we go, cards have clumped, and we will have a look at what we've got here for this week. Okay, this is very nice. Okay, so the heart of the matter, the heart, the general energy around the, the week is practicalities. It's the brown angel feather, a practical approach is required. Uh, the angels advise you to focus on practicalities this week at one step at a time. So being grounded is going to be very, very important this week. Um, keeping your feet on the ground, not rushing, doing your grounding techniques. Um, and this was going to bring you balance. So sound is going to also be important. But the energy of balance and being uh, grounded is very, very important here this week. So sound balance, Michael says, rebalance and relax. Archangel Michael suggests using the healing powers of sound to rebalance your chakras and energy fields. My meditation CD, the green CD, which uh, there is a sound balance track on that. And both my CDs are available in app form. So go to the, to my website, michellenew10.com and click apps and then you'll find it there. Be and you get both the CDs on the apps. Very, very good. The area of challenge for us this week is going to be on your health. Um, so you could not be on top of your game this week, unfortunately. Emerald green angel feather. Uh, restored health and healing. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health. They're sending you healing rays of green light that will assist you or a loved one to heal physical and mental conditions. However, it sits in the area of challenge. So someone could be challenged with their health this week. Um, or you could be challenged with your health this week. And you could, you may have been procrastinating on something to do with your health. So, um, you know, you might, you should be maybe going for your doctor's appointment or your dentist checkup or your podiatry, whatever, and you've been procrastinating. Well, it's in the area of challenge and the, the chances are you'll continue to do that this week, unfortunately, unless you change it and decide I'm going to do that this week, Bianca Dentist. <laughs> I went to the dentist two weeks ago. As you know, I broke a tooth. Most unfortunate. 
not not a fun thing but anyway yeah so this is in the area of your health so if anyone's unwell you know unfortunately they might continue to be feeling sluggish this week call in archangel Raphael to um, assist you so whatever you're procrastinating on about your health you need to really yes Dan Bianca the dentist you really need to have a look at it this week otherwise it will get more challenging okay if you've got a cough or cold come out to the healing center give us a call we've got the salt room it's fantastic now the in the area of the unknown Here's the card that you found in the center today. Bianca is the future angel feather, new lifestyle or home. Uh, the angels would like to inform you that it's time to commence preparations for a change in lifestyle or residence. Can also be about decorating. I'm actually getting some plaster fixed tomorrow. So I've been running around since I got home from work, removing everything. Oh my God. Anyway, so you know, this is what's on the cards this week. There could be renovations. There could be... Um, um, improvements with your home you could find a new home if you're looking for one uh, it can be a lifestyle so it can be something that, that you that you love that comes in an exercise program uh, a gym um, a group that you go to a dancing class whatever it can be lifestyle as well so it's something new uh, very feminine energy around this so this is the auric field protection the protection rose so it's about the woman protect, protecting themselves um, it's about the woman uh, making the changes in the house or with the lifestyle so it's very girly stuff here in the area of the unknown so guys if you're listening to the reading you won't make the changes the woman in your life or your mother or your grandmother or a girlfriend will be the one making the changes and looking after you now the turning point this week is really really cool and it's uh, the lilac angel feather which there's lots and lots of angels around as we've got the live stream going there's 44 people on the call which is the angels number so it's activate the angelic chakra again it's a call for meditation angel altar work and connecting with your angels the angels would like to assist you with activating the fifth eye chakra known as the angelic chakra you'll also be able to open that chakra using my meditation cds highly recommend them when you do that, a noble man or noble woman will come in, just like you did this morning, Bianca. Bless your cotton socks. Uh, love your work. Um, she's the essential oil goddess. She knows all about oils, and she saved the day this morning, I can tell you. Uh, Divine Aid. This is a ma magical card. The purple suit is magical in the Michael deck. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key, uh, key ushers in the arrival of a noble man or noble woman to assist you in your time of need. So this is beautiful. It's a turning point. So this per person is definitely sent by the angels. So someone's coming to help you, save you, rescue you, assist you, bring you the knowledge you need, whatever you need. That someone will show up this week. It's very, very beautiful. There is an open door and a very exciting uh, opportunity here for you, um, on the outcome which is very very beautiful for you this week it's the burnt angel orange angel feather an open door the angels ask that you be observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity so this is very very good news you need to be really switched on um, if you're grounded as the the center cards are saying if you're grounded and you're not rushing you will see the open door this week. It's an exciting opportunity, okay? It's on the outcomes. It's very, very important. The angels will lead you to the doorway. So this is a leadership card that sits with the opportunity. So Archangel Michael will show you the door. This is what this card is telling me. Um, it can be a bit, this card says Archangel Michael calls upon you to take a leadership role. Your love and light will show others uh, the way forward but really this is about Michael showing you the opportunity showing you the open door so go slowly this way yes and walk through them for God's sakes thank you Bianca top fan the essential oil goddess on fire here tonight for God's sakes walk through the open door don't just see the open door and go oh, I can't do it you ask Archangel Michael for courage he'll lead you he'll grab you by the hands and come on off we go opportunities are amazing okay love the sound of that says Mel beautiful yeah so this is a very very good reading very important that you keep yourself very grounded this week don't rush um, keep things in balance do my meditation CD that's the chakra balance would be great um, 
there's a, there's a woman that's going to make changes around your home or lifestyle. It could be yourself if you're a woman or someone in your life that's going to protect you and bring in changes. Don't be an ostrich and put your head in your sand this week about your health, okay? You need to get going on something. Um, the angels will send somebody to help you. Um, beautiful noble man or noble woman, so that's gorgeous. And then Michael shows you an opportunity. So it could be an opportunity for you to improve your health. It could be an opportunity, um, you know, that gives you more rest, more self-care. Um, it could be an opportunity of a new home. You know, the door could open to you uh, to a new home that you need to, to walk through. So this is a very, very, very beautiful reading for you this week, June the 3rd through to the 9th. Today is a new moon, everybody. It's the night to make your wishes um, and put them on, the angel, on your angel altar for transmutation. Um, that would be really, really beautiful. Um, I was listening to someone last night who talked about making wishes and um, having a small candle, like a little candle, that you can write some wishes on the side of and then you light the candle. Oh, actually, and he said to put some lavender oil on, Bianca, that would be lovely. And then you light the candle, always significant of connecting with spirit and the angels. So why not even maybe you might like to do a little ceremony like that um, tonight, which would be lovely. A small candle, though, so you don't leave candles burning. As you know, they can be dangerous um, if you left them overnight or anything silly. Um, so just you want one that will burn down really quickly. So that would be really cool. So make your new moon wishes tonight. Um, yes, new moon manifestation, beautiful. Okay, that is a lovely reading for you. Listen back again. You might want to listen to that again. Thank you very much, Anita. Um, Midweek to see how things are going, okay? So the area of the unknown is the new home lifestyle, probably not till about the middle of the week. The outcome's going to come towards the weekend. Yeah, yeah. So lavender's the oil of communication. Thank you, Bianca. And also the lavender is a very, it's purple. It's a very spiritual color, connects you to spirit. So that's really great. Guys, please put the word manifest into the comments. That will trigger my bot, Gabby, to send you an extra card for this week. Follow the prompts in Messenger and um, she will send you another card. So that's really cool. They are lovely cards. Thank you, D. So that is a beautiful reading. Now I'm going to give... Uh, an angel scope away so that's you know it's a it's all about your star sign if you haven't got it it's amazing it's only a few dollars um, it's on my website michellenew10.com it's fantastic and I've got a channeled reading for every one of the months of the year so there's still heaps of content there that you can use so um, please like and share the stream thank you for all the hearts I really appreciate that so who would like to win an angel scope please let me know in the comments Bianca saying manifest. That's the key word to trigger the bot. Thank you very much. Hi, Belinda. And uh, I have tuned in to my angels before coming on the call, and they've told me a star sign that I'm going to, um, you need to tune in to me. And when I say go, you can start. Um, and it'll be the first person I see, so nobody getting fluffy because I don't have the energy today. Beautiful. Girls in my closed group, anyone who hasn't joined, I'd love you in there. It's a lot of fun. It's called Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women. The link's in the description. Click that, answer the three questions, and I'll pop you into the group as soon as I get a minute. That would be really, really great. Um, it's a fantastic um, group. I haven't started yet, Tracy, but it's not cancer. Um, so off we go. Tracy's written Capricorn. She's really going, and I haven't said go. <laughs> anyway, um, you can start now. So hello, Nora from Ireland. Welcome to you. Um, tune, yes, please. I was reading mine before. I love mine. Thank you, Sharon. And uh, Marie says awesomeness. So off you go. Marie, it's not Taurus. It's not Libra. Mark, hi, Mark. How are you? It is not Capricorn Orla. Lovely to have you here. Um, I think you're new to the calls. No, it's not Libra, Tracy. No, Mel, it's not Libra. No, Mary, it's not Aries. Not Aries, Debbie. No, Marie, it's not Capricorn. Just keep them coming through, whoever I see. It's not Aries, Mel. No, it's not Pisces, Joe. No, Marie, not Leo. Not Leo, Mel. Becky Lafave, it is Sagittarius. So, Becky, congratulations. I, I, I'm a bit scared to touch the phone. 
L-A-F-A-V-E. Becky, congratulations. Um, you've been on my calls quite a bit, so that's lovely that you've won the Angel Scope for tonight. Becky, you need to email me to, right now, tonight, aokangels at gmail.com, and I will email you your Angel Scope tomorrow. I will not be doing it tonight. So, But you need to email me. I will not be chasing you, so you have to act tonight and email me so you don't forget aokangels at gmail.com congratulations becky that is very well done you and you need to email me what angel scope you want so either your star sign or somebody else in your family or friend if you've already purchased your angel scope so well done becky that is really great news to you guys i'd love to um let you know that the money attraction program is heading to about half full so that is really beautiful. We start on the 27th of June uh, this year, and it's an eight-month program. It's um, called the Money Attraction Program, and you're going to learn my tech manifesting techniques and working with the angels to attract more money and prosperity into your life. It's a monthly call on Zoom uh, that will be replayed and popped into a closed group. So if you can't make the lives, that's okay because of time or busyness. That's fine. You can catch up. You'll still get the same energy from the call as the replay. So don't worry about that. Um, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. We are going to we're going to do a lot of meditation on these calls. So um, I'm going to teach you specific my specific meditation technique for attracting uh, money into your life and scripts that I work with and say specific words that are really potent and poignant and um, it's very powerful. So uh, topics we're going to cover are negative thought patterns block and your blocks with money. So we're going to do some clearings during meditation. What's your capacity to handle money? Um, how to get into alignment to receive money and keep it. Um, how to increase your energy field so that you can attract more money. How to program your feelings towards money so that they're positive. So getting clear about your desires. How to do successful affirmations because you know there's no you can say I'm a money magnet till the cows come home, but if you're not in alignment, it's not going to work. So we're going to do affirmations Michelle's way, following angelic guidance because it's very important. We're going to clear negative thought pa patterns around spending. We're going to look at some practical ways to dissolve negative scripts, patterns, and attitudes to prosperity. You get lots of homework and, and beautiful, fun challenges to do during each month. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So you put a lot, you actually will, it'll be, um, I'll be teaching you and it'll be very much self-driven and a lot of fun um, because it takes work. It's like peeling a, an onion. Um Opening yourself to alternative sources of income and em embracing opportunities. Creating angel manifesting altars. Looking for abundance, prosperity demonstrations. The power of colour in manifesting. And we're going to welcome in 2020, our last month will be in January 2020, as a rich man or rich woman. This is open to men and women, not just women. Uh, and we're going to choose your power word for 2020. So you're going to actually do a lot of really fun self-driven work because you want to change your reality you're sick of struggling you're sick of not having enough money you're sick of not going on a holiday you're sick of not being able to go and buy a nice dress or whatever it is and you're going to change that by work doing these and these things you'll learn you'll be able to continue to put into your life so that you can continue to manifest amazing things like i have over my years um so this is some of the things we're going to cover so it's going to be Fabulous. So the monthly calls will be on Zoom and then we will have a closed private Facebook group where you will meet other people like you. You'll be able to join and we'll have a really lovely community in this group that will never go down and the replays will be there for you and I'll get my assistant to actually cut out just the meditation so you don't have to listen to the whole lot if you don't want to. So there'll be two, um, two replays there. So that will be great. So that you can do the meditation several times in the month not just the once live so it is going to be fantastic it's 188 dollars australian so if you're international you will not pay gst which is our tax and our currency uh, dollar is dreadful so it'll be a lot cheaper than that when you put it into your shopping cart the links in the description um, I'll pop it into the comments. I would love you to be in this class. I don't want you to miss out. It is capped. We're nearly sitting at half. So um, it doesn't start till the 27th of June. You've got time. So I would love to have you in that class. So it's going to be 
fabulous. So congratulations to Becky Lafave. I think it's all Lafave for being the winner of the Angel Scope tonight. Thank you very, very much for being here on my live calls. You mean the world to me. I appreciate you so much. I'm not going live in the closed group tonight. Um, I will aim to jump on there um, later in the week uh, when I'm a bit more rested. So take care and have a beautiful week and make your new moon wishes tonight. And I don't care how many you make. Some people say, oh, you can only make eight, you can only make ten. Oh, what a load of garbage. Make as many as you want. If you don't put it out there, you're not going to bring it in. That's what I think. Anyway, that's Michelle's way. If you want to if you want to write out 20, just write them out. Put them on your angel altar. When you learn to work with the angels like I do, whatever you're putting out there, if you're very clear, um, the angels will bring you that or something better, even more better. More betterer, as young kids would say. <laughs> okay, have a beautiful week. And um, thank you for being here again. And take care. I will be here with you tomorrow for a daily angel message, I think. Okay, thank you for all the hearts. You're amazing. Bye-bye.